this is Eric Blessing. You're joining me here today on the Eric Blessing Show, where you receive eight minutes of inspiration from entrepreneurs and light workers. My next guest is really interesting and exciting, and he's already shared with me other guests on the show that you've already enjoyed. We've kind of been chasing each other back and forth. So now I have Jeff Davis joining me from the Netherlands, and one of his main topics is authenticity. So welcome, Jeff. Erica, it's a pleasure to be here. Looking forward to chatting with you today. Yeah, and I guess it's nighttime there, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it's, uh, it's well past eight in the evening, so we, very much a big time difference. Yeah, so um, maybe, you know what, every once in a while I do exactly the opposite of what I say I'm going to do just for the heck of it. So what really made you want to write the book about authentic leadership? What, what kind of triggered you to want to write that book? It's kind of a bold choice. It is. It's a very bold choice. And I can answer that. So speaking of bluntness, we live in a fake society. It's the truth. A lot of people are fake. And I got sick of it. I, I got fed up with it. And um, a lot of authors and speakers, people I've met, I'm also being incredibly blunt right now, don't live their message. And by no means am I saying that everyone is, is perfect. We all make mistakes, but you've got to live your message. And that's really it. I got fed up with the fake society. And I said, I, I want to push back against that. And that's how I got into authentic leadership. Yeah, I've had Jared on my show. Ah. Yeah, he, he, he and I have kind of supported each other for a couple of years now. He's really, I love his energy. Ah, that's great. Yeah. So um, when you look at leadership that word leadership. Again, that's another word that kind of scares people. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It, it, it very much does. I, I like the way you put that. So it seems like more and more of us are being called upon to be leaders. What can we do if we're a little bit nervous about that? Well, first of all, understand that that's normal. That's completely normal. So don't beat yourself up for it. Acknowledge it. And then I would say start small. We, we hear the word leadership. Like you said, we get scared. We think, uh, oh, wow, I, I better go influence 10,000 people. I better change the community. That's all great, but, but start small. You can start by leading yourself. You can start by uh, tweaking some of your habits. You can start by moving the ball forward in one of your projects. You can, you can start by um, being a better person yourself. You know, uh, changing the world starts with changing yourself. So my biggest tip here is uh, don't overthink it. Don't get so overwhelmed thinking you have to go and change the entire world. You can start small. You can lead yourself. You can make tiny micro changes each day and then build from there. You know, my belief really, um, because I'm a medium and I can perceive thoughts. So a lot of people do, actually. They can perceive emotions. So it's my, I kind of think we're always leading or we're always beaming out messages from our radio tower of a being, you know, whether we're doing lots of stuff or not. It's absolutely true. It's absolutely true. And piggybacking off of that, I believe it's important to be able to, to read people. This is something that I had actually mentioned in the power of authentic leadership. And that is that you have to understand that people are going to have these masks and they're going to be putting on these fronts and it's okay to see through people. And I remember that as I was sort of growing and evolving, I wondered like, is it okay to realize that some of these people uh, are fake or they're not living their message? And you, you, uh, I, I actually felt guilty. Like I'm not a judgmental person. I don't, I, I genuinely uh, avoid passing judgment. So it's not a judgment thing. It's more of an observation thing. I just observed, people being fake and I realized it's okay to see through people like that and then direct yourself towards hopefully better people. Not always easy, but it can be done. So what if I super want to just jump in both feet, be an authentic leader and use it really to kick ass? Like let's do the flip side. I'm not reticent. I'm into it. I want to do it. What's something I can do to take my authentic leadership to the next level? Love it. That's a powerful question. Well, <laughs> I've, uh, I've, I've, heard a, I've heard a mix about this, and I'm going to be authentic about this, no pun intended, is that I've heard a lot of people say, no one cares about your story, completely disagree. I believe your story, and this is why I love a lot of what you've done, Erica, can genuinely help other people when shared in the right way, can genuinely 
change the world or at least help someone can help people get through their challenges. So my encouragement to you, you're ready to dive right in. You're resonating. Uh, you, you hear this Erica woman, you hear this Jeff guy, you say, I'm ready, I'm ready to dive right into authentic leadership. Well, I would start by sharing your story in a way that benefits other people. So you can have an, an I centered story with a you focused message. And you can do that in simple ways. You don't have to have a huge following. You don't have to have this humongous business set up. You can do that. You can do it on a quick YouTube video or as long as you want. You can do it on, in a social media post. You can do it on a podcast. You can do it um, by joining a local group and sharing your message there. So yeah, quantity is good. There's a lot of people in the world, but also you can think in terms of quality. Just help that one person. Help that one person. If one, one person is changed for the better by your story, you're, you're better off. So think about, to, to put the cherry on top of this, think about your biggest challenges that you've had. You know, for example, for me, getting severely bullied throughout my life, uh, having suicidal thoughts when I was 17 years old, those are embarrassing challenges that I, I share with others uh, across the world to help them through their challenges. So think of those biggest challenges you've had and then think, how can I share this in a way that will help other people? That, that is my biggest tip. Well, I don't know if we've really given your book. Um, I know it's really challenging in my, in my uh, eight minute window that I allow for my show, but um, Jeff's book, everybody features stories from such interesting people. So we have Mark Cuban, John Lee Dumas, one of my faves, he's been on the show. Suzanne, right. I don't want to say her name wrong. Is it DeRay? DeRay. DeRay. Chris, I'm not trying to try him with that one. <laughs> Gib, 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 Gib. Gilabo. Yeah. <laughs> That, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Ryan Tracy, Senator Chris Murphy. So you really hung out with some of the world's biggest leaders, huh? I, I swing for the fences. I, I, there, there's a quote by, by Zig Ziglar um, that just came to me. Uh, the only difference between a big shot and a little shot is a, is a big shot is a little shot who just kept swinging. So I love that. And you know what else I say? I say there's more, there's, I say there's, what is it? There's more room at the top. Like there's more room where the cream is. Yes. Like go right up there. Cause there's some more space here. It's like, you can reach up here and be with the top people. And there, a lot of people are afraid to talk to the top people. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say, well, th this goes back into how a, a lot of people can feel threatened or intimidated. And I would say, don't don't view everyone as your equal i really mean that from the bottom of my heart view everyone wow. as your equal no need to feel intimidated whatsoever wow. uh, you're as special as anyone else you're as gifted as anyone else you're, you're equal to everyone and i really mean that so everyone if you've missed it in the beginning i have jeff davis with me his website is jeff d speaks his book is the power of authentic leadership Activating the 13 Keys to Achieving Prosperity Through Authenticity. And uh, Jeff, how else can we reach you and find out more? Well, check out my website, jeffdspeaks.com. You can type into YouTube speaker Jeff Davis and some videos will come up. I have some cool, engaging content on there. And then, of course, uh, also on LinkedIn, you can find me on um, linkedin.com slash in slash speaker Jeff Davis. And then I also will uh, use Twitter, my handle Jeff Davis 27 and Facebook as well. I'm on there as a Jeff Davis, as a writer, speaker, consultant. So feel free to engage with me. Uh, also check out my, uh, my blog posts on my website, some good content on there. Great, thanks so much for coming. My pleasure, thank you for having me.